What did you expect the tech companies to do when faced with that proposition? Michael Geist is a law professor who specializes in technology issues. He has been a sharp critic of the Trudeau government's Online News Act, Bill C-18. He's testified that it could set a bad precedent and inhibit free speech. And it mandates payments for links, which I think has a real, creates real concerns for freedom of expression online. We depend upon free flow of information on the internet. Links is central to that. The bill would force the world's biggest media and tech companies like Google and Facebook owner Meta to pay Canadian news organizations for every link back to a news site. The parliamentary budget officer estimates that could transfer nearly $330 million a year from the tech companies to Canadian news organizations. And about three quarters of that will, in fact, go to broadcasters. So uh, the broadcasters tend to be uh, Bell, Rogers uh, and CBC and, of course, Chorus with Global. Um, most of those companies are pretty large companies with an awful lot of money. So people are already said some people are saying, well, do they need to be subsidized? Google doesn't think so. And so as a warning, it says it is engaging in a five week long test in which Four percent of its Canadian users will see access to Canadian news sites limited, although it did not provide details about how those users are chosen or which news sites are affected. The government says it will not be dissuaded. We just want Facebook and Google to pay their fair share to journalists when they use their work. And I think that's a reasonable thing to ask. And they've been fighting against regulation. Um, we think we're on the right side of this. For Google, this is not just about its Canadian operations. It is worried about copycat legislation in other countries, and that would affect Google's global bottom line. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa.